hello guys now I'll show you how you can update your WordPress plugin from github suppose if your plugin have a github repository then if you release a new version to the github then uh, how you can get the update version in your local website suppose if you have multiple client the same client websites you are using a same plugin which is hosted on github if you release new version on github then manually you need to install that plugin one by one to each website so that's a issue if you use github updater helper then when you will release a new version to the github it will automatically so update notification in the in your client websites so i will show you another solution how you can do that so at first you i have i have made a simple wordpress plugin you can see it here advanced github updater advanced github plugin updater.php i have only plugin header and readme header with version 1.0.0 and added a message in website footer plugin version is 1.0.0 let's activate this plugin now in footer area I should to show a message here plugin version is 1.0.0 let's host this plugin to the github advanced github updater okay now I will host this plugin to the github I have github desktop let's create new repository which will be github advanced github let's Try to create the repository name with the plugin name. Advanced plugin updater. The local path will be the plugin folder path. Create repository. okay this uh, git path is installed in inside the plugin let's move this git folder to the outside of this folder now need to delete this updater folder then need to relocate this folder selecting this okay now we need to release this person and it will be private repository let's try to version the released 1.0.0 omit published repository it will be pu private your repository can be public or private it doesn't matter but if it's private then you have to set up the authentication header in the plugin file so that your site or your client's client site get updates so publishing this repository it's successfully published and let's check you can see that the plugin is now hosted on github and now we have to add the github plugin updater helper with this repository i have to get the plugin update helper you need to install a different helper you have to search here just check my repository github.com slash samimbd pro then find here github github updater
search here plugin update checker plugin update checker okay this this is a different repository where you can get all guidelines how you can update your wordpress plugin and your wordpress theme it's not only work for plugins you can also update your themes with this helper so we need to download this I need to extract this zip file. Okay, now let's see their guidelines. If your plugin is self-hosted, then you have to follow this guideline. And if your plugin is hosted on GitHub, then you have to follow this guideline. Here you can see that they are suggesting to download this repository. Then if you if you try to update your theme, then you need to put this code in functions.php. And if your plugin, if you are trying to update your plugin, then you have to put this code in your plugin header file. Okay, I'm copying this and now you need to change your repository name and username. I am copying this full URL and pasting it here and copying the repository name and pasting the repository name here. Now you need to set the branch name. My branch name is master. Set authentication token. If your repository is on the private mode, then you have to set this repository token. If your repository is on public, then you don't need to this code. Just you have to remove this. And my for now, my repository on private branch. That's why I need to set the authentication token here. Let's generate authentication token from the GitHub. To generate this, you have to click on profile, then settings, then developer setting, personal access token, generate new token. It will be, you can check the expiration date, My it will be no expiration and need to click here and also the workflow. Now try to generate token. Need to provide the token name, plugin, updater, test. Generating the token. This is token. I have copied it and we'll paste it here. Okay, in my GitHub changes, now I have many changes in the GitHub history. Need to release these things into the GitHub. GitHub. Updater. Edit. Commit to master. And push to origin. If I check my repository again,
you can see here plugin update checker master edit so we need to remove the master because in the plugin file i don't have any correct path to fix the path we need to remove the master from the folder name okay plugin update checker then plugin update checker.psp in our plugin header file i think now it is correct path let's try to release a new version and let's see what happened after the uh, release new version in the github okay the plugin version is changing 1.0.1 1.0.1 and in readme.txt 1.0.1 Person released 1.0.1 omitting the code and pushing code to the master branch right now I am on the master branch I can create new tag here create new tag v1.0.1 creating tag and pushing the tag Okay, from the GitHub page, you can see that I have one tag added. With the from the tag page, you can release the new version. Create release and release the version. Publish version. Okay, now you can see that I have one released version from this repository. Try to install now try to install this plugin into your other websites and let's try to create new version then we need to check if it's work fine okay downloading this zip file let's try to install this plugin with another folder like i have a test folder plugin testing this plugin extract this plugin advanced plugin updater master don't need the master only advanced plugin updater folder and i can see my old plugin here let's try to install the, that plugin with the new website localhost slash test in the dashboard plugins Try to activate that plugin after activated that plugin i need i should to show a message in footer like this plugin version 1.0.1 okay let's try to change this message and release a new version from to the github plugin version 2 let's release new version 2 and in the readme also we need to change the stable version 0.2 in my website in my website I can see the new version is 1.0.2 this message now this message should to so automatically also here with automatically update without the manual installing let's release this version Person released 1.0.2 creating a 
new tag is created now push this tag to repository let's open the repository page here you can see that now I have two tags let's release this version publish release okay now in my this new site if I go to my plugin page now I should to show a notification like this new version is updated now I still see 1.0.1 after certain time it will show the update notification but if you don't want to wait for any notification then you can check if there has any update I am checking on it yeah now you can see that new version is available to update but if you don't click on this check updates but after certain time you will see this notification automatically in your WordPress website let's try to update now yes the plugin is now up to date you can see here 1.0.2 and if I check the message in the front end it will be 1.0.2 yes okay so thank you very much for watching this video with this video now you have learned it how you can update your other websites plugin if this plugin is hosted on github it can be private or public repository so I think this video is useful for WordPress plugin developer if you think my video is useful for you please get in touch with me and please subscribe my youtube channel i will share more and more tips about the WordPress and laravel thank you very much